Yo, Mr. Jambo here, in Throne and Liberty. I'm gonna tell you the things that I hate the most in this game. As somebody who's level 33, he's not even level 50. <laughs> and you're gonna hear an entire list of things I already dislike about the game. And that could be improved, like literally. If somebody asked me what could make this game like 10 billion times better. If the targeting wasn't ass. You have to like target every monster with R1. But let's say you want to switch target, you have to click R1 on the other target. But sometimes it's really, really bad. Because the target can be stunned, frozen, like let's say I do this, and this target is frozen, I cannot attack it anymore. You basically have to swap to another target to then attack that. I think that is like really ass. If someone else does it, if you personally freeze that target, it's pretty chill. But if like some random teammate does that, it's a pain in the ass. Targeting people for healing is really, really bad. Because you would have to do L2 and then up and down. And then hope that you target the right teammate. And then you have to press heals. Also, in middle of combat, it's really difficult to drop Blast Barrier on somebody. Protecting him for a shit ton of damage. Like, it's, it's really difficult. The easiest part is like, let's say you cast this... Which is basically an area heal. That's like way easier. But it is like really bad to heal, heal single targets. Target people for buffs. And target enemies sometimes. It's it's a pain in the ass. Another dumb thing is like. Let's say you run the open world. You see those people are like fighting monsters and shit right. Unless you party them. You cannot heal them. So let's say I, I want to heal this person. Because he like takes damage from some outside monster. I cannot heal him. It's the same if you're like in the events and you see like 50 plus people in the event and you're like, yo, I want to heal you guys, but it's not possible because you can't target them, which is also dumb. Also dislike is the mastery. Like sometimes uh, I have like different weapons because right now I'm using a staff and I'm using a wand and tome and it basically levels the mastery for those specific weapons. But let's say I swap my weapon around. Um, let's say I run dual sword. I'm just saying dual sword, yeah? I now run dual sword. Then I go back to mastery. And the mastery for dual sword is zero. So this basically limits the amount of weapons you're running. It's just a pain in the ass, yet again. Like how much pain in the ass does this game have? But that, that's a pretty big pain in the ass for people that want to play different weapons. You're basically stuck with one character like that, unless you spend money to reroll. What I hate besides that is, let's say if you go to co-op, you need dimensional contract tokens. I think this is holding the game back a lot, because people like to just run dungeons, run dungeons, and keep on getting loot, instead of being limited by some energy system. I hate this energy system so much. Because I just want to run Roaring Temple because I just want to like do dungeons. I don't like doing quests. Like I can get level 50 by doing fucking quests. But I just don't want to do quests. I log in, I do the dungeon like two or three times. I log off and that's it. Because I cannot do the dungeon more than two or three times because I don't get rewards. So this game is already pretty fucking bad for me. <laughs> like... For somebody who only wants to run dungeons and group content, it's like really, really fucking bad. Another thing I dislike is from like the dungeon queue, like let's say you do a matchmaking. You get like, I don't know what, but people are taking the specific roles, but they're not even running that role. So somebody picks a tank and it's actually a DPS picking a tank. I, I don't think that should be possible. Because you're running a dungeon without a tank then, and it becomes twice as difficult. Just because there's no tank. Like, why is it possible that you can pick something that you are not? Like, for instance, I'm running a staff, and I'm running a tome. So, I can literally pick tank, and, and it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I can literally pick tank. I don't understand why. What I also dislike is if you're running a dungeon and you drop 20 times the same item. So 
I ran this Roaring Temple for two days now. I dropped the Nature's End like three times. I dropped the Shoes Boat like three times. I dropped this, which is not even for my class. Like, I dropped weapons that are not for what I'm running. And I dropped gear that I dropped already multiple times. Like, back to back to back to back. And there's no, like, pity system for that too. And it's just stupid in my opinion. Another thing I dislike is that there's like a limited amount of cosmetics. There's like nothing. Like I, this is, I don't know what this game is doing, but they're not making much money. Like they're, they're not adding any like cool skins, dude. We only got this Northern Ruler skin, which I'm currently running. We got this, uh, where, where the fuck's the other one? And, and we got Silent Outlaw and that's it. We only got two fucking skins, dude. Like, what is that? And the only thing that I can say about it is this. Thumbs up. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of dumb. It doesn't exist. So it's worse than Terra. Also, what I dislike is, let's say for outfits, I like to, like, do no helmet. But it's impossible to turn off your helmet because you need to have an other thing that looks like a helmet. If it's on me, I would look like this or no helmet at all. But it's not possible. Because the only way you can have no helmet is if you just literally press off the helmet and then it's gone. I don't like that. Like, that is really, really bad in my opinion. Cosmetic wise, at least. Like, I don't even know why that's a feature in the game. But I guess we have to deal with it. Because there's nothing we can do about it. What I also hate is turning into a fucking rabbit or a wolf or whatever. I just want to like sit on its back and be let it be bigger, man. Let it be like a huge fucking rabbit and I just sit on its back. And we feel a lot cooler than this. I don't like this. But yeah. I hate it that uh, let's say I go to character info. And you see here cooking, fishing and expedition. There is no explanation on how to get those things to run it up. You have to literally watch a YouTube guide. Sometimes I have days that I just don't want to do dungeons and don't want to kill monsters and I want to gather. So let's say I gather this wild herb. The funny part about gathering this is you get stuff to cook with. But there is no life skill gathering in which you can level and get more from gathering. It doesn't exist. So it's worse than Terra. And it's the same with mining. You can mine ores. And there's no mining level. So you're basically mining for quite literally nothing is what it feels like. It doesn't exist. So it's worse than Terra. Another dumb thing is that the relationships is bugged. I was trying to invite my friend, add my friend, like 20 times, and I could not add him and add friends. I had to literally invite him on PlayStation to play with him. I had to literally add him on PlayStation, invite him from PlayStation to play with him in the game, instead of just adding him in my friend list and being able to play with him like that. There is the guild system, okay? You can in like invite random people from your girl like let's say i want to uh, play with this guy yeah i can just invite him to the party why can't i add someone to my friend list and then invite them for a party i can do it with my girl so why can't i do it not with my friend list i don't understand it's like dumb logic ring it doesn't exist so it's worse than terra next up we're talking about the battle pass let's go so, for instance, there are, like, quite a few levels of the battle pass. And there are quite a few challenges that you have to complete to get levels for your battle pass. But most of them are not explained and you have to find it on a YouTube guide. There's open help, but that doesn't really do a lot. On console, it's really difficult to find events on your map. Uh, you have to like look for this and then you can see events here with the time and then if you want to target them on the map you have to press X double X then you see like the, the uh, event info mostly with double X and you have to like search to like 
an entire fucking list for the event itself. And it's kind of weird, but yeah. I dislike it that you can only have two characters on a server. And you cannot buy more character slots. This will be a problem for me later, because I most likely will make multiple characters to do multiple dungeons with. Because it's more fun that way, because we are locked behind points to run dungeons. So I want to have more character slots because I'm gonna run more than fucking two characters later. Believe me, I'll run like fucking five or ten or something eventually.